Hi guys, it's Sissy and I'm coming on today to do a sort of collection video. I'm going to show decks that I have several copies of the same creator or artist, okay? So today we're going to do Lisa Hunt decks. So if you're interested, let's get started. So the first one I want to talk about is the Celtic Dragon Tarot. Let me see if I can lift this up a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the Celtic Dragon. So this is by DJ Conway and Lisa Hunt. And I do enjoy this deck. Comes in this magnetic box. And it's really nice. But this is the back. And of course it is a dragon deck. And a lot, I notice a lot of decks that Lisa Hunt does the backs a lot of, most of them look like this. So you'll notice this on our way through. So this is the book. It comes with a really nice uh, guidebook. You have a black and white picture of the card, the title of the card, and then there's keywords underneath the title of the card, which I really like. Like the two of one says, focus, will, and energy. And then it, this tells you what's going on in the card. And then this is your uh, divinatory meaning right here. Not very big, but it is telling you what's going on in the card. So it's like that for all the cards. And then you do get some spreads in here. So very nice. Let me move this out of the way. And this is the backs of the cards and the front. And um, Lisa's uh, artwork is so soft and like watercolor, like all of her decks are like that. So, sorry, I had to get a drink. But um, these aren't, none of my decks are in order, so we'll just kind of go through so you can get an idea of what they look like. I love the Celtic Dragon Tarot. It follows the Rider Waite Smith, so it's very easy to uh, work with, and I love it. I love working with Jack Dragon Energy anyway, and I'm really excited about the new Dragon deck that's coming out. I did get uh, Stephanie Burroughs and Adam Oler's uh, new dragon deck, which is beautiful. But I am looking forward to the, I think it's US Games. I'm not sure, but I do have it pre-ordered. But yeah, that's the Queen of Swords. Yeah, and most of uh, the decks that Lisa does, the wands and the swords, their elements are switched. So swords is fire, obviously and wands are air. And you know, I really don't like that. Um, but you know what? I just read it however I see it. You know, whatever comes out to me. Look how beautiful that is. That's the ace of wands. But um, yeah, so yeah, I just read it however it comes to me. So we won't go through all these. I kind of just want to give you an idea of each deck. Look at that hangman. That is beautiful. And you have all the dragons from the elements there on the rocks. But yeah, this is this is a favorite deck of mine. I love this deck a lot. Got a few more. All my dogs are outside. There's the Queen of Cups beautiful but yeah yeah very beautiful deck okay so 
that was the Celtic Dragon Tarot by DJ Conway and Lisa Hunt. Okay, this deck is the Fantastical Creatures Tarot. And this is by DJ Conway and artwork by Lisa Hunt. Okay, and this deck is, it says the mystical powers of Fantastical Creatures Tarot from the world of mythology and folklore are brought to life through captivating imagery, ideal for divination, magic, and meditation. So, it comes in a top box. Okay, this is U.S. Games. And I'm sure this is available and the uh, Celtic Dragon so far that I've done, those are both available. But the next few that I do, I know are out of print and you can find them, but at a substantial price. So it comes with this little guidebook and um, let's see, it says, um, it tells you what's happening in the card and then it has the divinatory meaning and then magical uses for the cards. So, very cool. It's a nice little, uh, little white book. I mean, it's pretty good size for a little white book. And then you get um, like little cheat, cheat cards. So, um, it has just a little bit like the Will of Fortune. It says, a cycle ends, justice, unpleasant events. And it tells you what is actually on the card too. And then the my, that was the majors. And then for the minor, like it says, Ace of Cups, Cycle of Emotions, Two of Cups, Time to Make Up. So that's pretty cool. So you have Wands and Swords on one side and Cups and Pentacles on the other. And I do like this deck. And I like how most of her decks, they're not like the white, white. They have like a cream color. And... Um, so these are mythical creatures from folklore. So very beautiful. I just love Lisa's artwork. Oh, look at the moon. So pretty. Um, yeah, a quick uh, side story. Um, last month, Lisa Hunt was across Alligator Alley. I'm like closer to the end of uh, Florida, the very south end of Florida on the west coast, like close to like Naples. So the very end, but straight across, if you go across to the east coast of Florida, across Alligator Alley, Lisa Hunt was there at like some type of symposium. So it's like a three hour drive for me, which is nothing. I was like prepared to do it. But I just didn't have the money. Like, I did not want to go broke. But I'm so heartbroken that I missed going over there last month. I mean, she was so close yet so far away. I was like, oh, I would have loved to, like, get her to sign, like, all my decks. <laughs> but that would have been asking it a lot. But, yeah, that, oh, I'm so upset that I missed it. My husband was like, you should go, you know, but like he felt really bad, but like I just couldn't take the money to like drive over there, stay, because she was going to be there for three days, which I guess I could have just done one day, but if you're going to go, right? So like I missed her and I'm really upset about it, but hopefully sometime I will get to meet her because I love her decks. But yeah, so this is a very beautiful deck too, Mythical Creatures. So, wow, beautiful tower card. The Devil, and it says Chains. And of course, the Elements have been changed again in this deck, same as with the Celtic Dragon, uh, which it seems all her artwork 
changes the uh, elements, the swords and wands. So wands are air and swords are fire. Okay, beautiful, beautiful deck. And the backs have the round circle again and it almost looks like dragons in it. Some kind of mythical creature, right? So that is the Fantastical Creatures Tarot by DJ Conway and artwork by Lisa Hunt. Okay, next we have the Ghosts and Spirits Tarot by Lisa Hunt. This is US Games. And this deck is still in print. Okay, let me turn it over. Oh, let me read what it says on the box. It says, Ghost and Spirits Tarot explores the fascinating subject of ghosts. Surveying supernatural lore and legend from around the world, this luminous deck presents 79 ethereal beings, some frightening, some friendly. Through the symbolism of tarot, they deliver their messages from beyond, shedding light on human experiences. So, supernatural lore. Lisa Hunt is all about the fantasy world. And this is a tuck box, like Lisa, all, all the books that come with the decks that she has done are great books. And that's no exception to the little white book that comes in tuck boxes. Like it has the uh, title of the card and then what is in the card. Like the lovers, it says Specter Bridegroom. The High Priest says apparition the emperor says dragon ghost gods the empress says guardian spirit so it tells you what's going on in the card and then it has the divinatory meaning so very cool nice little white book okay the backs of these is a circle still but it's ghost and it's like the supernatural world you know like ethereal looking and on this, the borders are white on the back, I guess to match the ghost. But then on the front, you have her cream colored borders, which I love, they're so pretty. This is the extra card that comes with Ghost and Spirits. But yeah, very beautiful. Look at the sun, so pretty. Like I had a dream about this deck before I got it. And I was like, uh, cause I had all these decks, but I did not have um, the Ghost and Spirits deck, which I don't know why I just kept forgetting to get it. And then I finally got it. Devil again is called Chains in this deck. Look at that. But, um, oh, look at the King of Swords. But yeah, this is a beautiful deck too. Supernatural lore. What's not to like about it? Yeah. I think that's who's on the box. Yes, it is. I love that Ten of Cups. Look at that, so pretty. Mm, all the skeletons, very cool. Oh, look at death. You guys, I'm sorry. You know I think all these are beautiful, which I do. I love all, all of these decks that I'm showing you. Yeah. Oh, look at the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. So pretty. Let's, let me see. Did I? Right 
think. Oh, I missed it. Okay. But anyway, I was wanting, I think it, oh, look at the Seven of Pentacles. The graveyard. It's a key. Just came out of that grave. Very cool. Okay. That is the Ghost and Spirits Tarot by Lisa Hunt. Oh, another beautiful deck. Ghost and Spirits. Okay, the next deck I want to talk about is the Shapeshifter. This is also by DJ Conway and Serona Knight. And the artwork is by Lisa Hunt. Okay, this is the book. And it's a very chunky book. And trust me, you need this book, I think, to work with the Shapeshifter. It's a Celtic in theme, I believe. I've not worked with this a lot. I feel like you'd really have to, like, really dig into this book and work with it. It's uh, about shape shifting and, like, to harness whatever it is you're trying to manifest. But let me show you. And, like, I think every card name has been changed on this deck. This is the backs. Again, you'll notice the backs. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. And these have a big blue border on them. And you have the soft watercolors. Oh, something I wanted to mention that I found in the back of the book, which it tells you like all the books and stuff, which is really cool. Oh wait, where is that at? Oh, here it is. Lisa Hunt's paintings for Shapeshifter Tarot were done using Windsor and Newton watercolors on Waterford Hot Press, 140 pound paper. So that's pretty cool. You know, you always hear Ty Simon and a couple other people talking about Windsor and Newton markers. So pretty cool, I thought. But um, anyway, you see the coloring is very soft, just like the Celtic dragon. But you'll see fire elements and the swords and wands have been switched again. Swords are fire and wands are air. But you have the sacred flame here. So all of them have been changed. So decadence, the moon. Oneness. Sorry about my dogs, guys. Abundance. It's really nice out today, so I'm trying to leave them out for a little bit. But I may have to pause and let them in. But you see all the... But like this says, water element cups. Five. Rejection. So this would be the five of cups. But I mean... Water element cups. Six of cups is memories blindness for the two of swords wow that's pretty powerful image right there can you see that the three of swords sorrow wow Seven of Cups, Desire. Wow. You know, I haven't had this out for a long time. And it's like making more sense now. But you would still want to read the, uh, the write-ups about each card in the book. God of Water, number 13. So, that would be the Queen. Water element cups, ace of cups, the well, the sun, the goddess of water. Wow, it's almost as if the kings and the and the um, queens have been switched. Because 14, it says goddess of water. Where'd that go? Oh, okay. I think it was like right here. Yeah, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, 
so water element cups both are cups and you have the god of water at 13 and the goddess of water at 14. interesting so i don't know enough about this deck i've had it for quite some time but i've never really worked with it because i thought it would be too hard but now i'm looking at it <clears throat> The full initiation. Earth element pentacles, the four of pentacles, legacy. The sorcerer would be the magician. Five of pentacles, loneliness. Oh, wow. Warrior of fire. Swords element. The god of fire, yes. So the gods are number 13, which is usually in the queen position. And the goddesses are in 14, number 14, which is usually the king's position. So, hmm. Wow, yeah. 23, the dreamer. So we must go past the world or the universe the four of wands wow this is making me want to get it out and use it very interesting all right so but anyway this is the shapeshifter tarot oh look at that 16 the serpent so that would be equivalent to the tower goddess of fire all right sorry i'm like starting to go through going hmm maybe this would be a good time to get this out and i do love things that challenge me so this may be one to look at next month, maybe. Okay, you guys, that was the Shapeshifter Tarot by DJ Conway and Serona Knight and artwork by Lisa Hunt. Okay, the next deck is the Animals Divine Tarot by Lisa Hunt, forward by Chris Walde here. And it comes in this crappy Llewellyn old Llewellyn box but it's like this and the cards came in this which tells you how to care for your cards okay and then it comes with this great book okay and it'll have uh, the title of the card what animal it is the meaning symbols and description and that's for every card. Now you have animals on cards ace through 10, I'm pretty sure. But then on the court cards and the majors, you have gods and goddesses. So pretty cool. And I keep the cards in this bag that I got from uh, Grounded by the Moon with their deck. But I love this bag because it has like silk on the inside and then this velvet on the outside. I just feel like it protects them really well. But this is the backs of the cards and you'll notice this <clears throat> almost like a Celtic knot, but then there's these birds on there. Very cool. And then on the cards, you'll have the animal or the god or goddess listed up top and then the title of the card, like the Nine of Swords here. This is the Ace of Wands and it says Firefly. This is the Page of Cups and this says Tangaria. Four of Swords, Hawk. Ten of Swords, Heron. This is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Oh, Kuan Yin. Manos, octopus, tortoise, the Knight of Cups is Venus, the Six of Cups, carp, 
but yeah so the hanged woman is the spider woman four of wands is the ladybug nine of cups is salmon this deck. I love Lisa Hunt's artwork. So this is beautiful. And I heard a rumor that this may be reprinted and I'm not sure if Lisa is going to do it like on Kickstarter. I mean that's just rumors I've heard but that would be so cool if she redid these. Look at that Three of Cups, this polar bear. I love that card. Yeah, because this reminds me of in El Goliath. I think, was it J the Judgment card that's the polar bear? That's like very powerful card. But yeah, so Ganesha is the High Priest which would be the Hierophant and traditional. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think this is one of my favorites of Lisa Hunt's decks. So that was the Animals Divine Tarot by Lisa Hunt and Forward by Chris Walder here. Okay, the next deck is the Fairy Tale Tarot by Lisa Hunt. And I only see, I think this is all Lisa Hunt here. But um, the Fairy Tale Tarot by Lisa Hunt, it's in another crappy box, the old Llewellyn boxes, and it has another one of these in it, which I got this deck and it. It was, uh, the box was already beat up, but the cards were sealed, so my deck is, like, brand new. And it comes with this great book, and every card is a fairy tale. And, um, this is a nice, nice book. I really enjoyed working with this deck and reading when I pull. I said I started, when I first got this deck, I started reading the stories from the beginning, I thought, I'm going to read the whole book. But then, after like three cards in, I was like, uh, forget that. I'm going to just like use the cards. And then whatever I pull, then I'll read the story. So, that's what I ended up doing. But it has the title of the card, like the Two of Cups. And then the story says brother and sister. And then it tells you the culture, which is German. And then the keywords are give and take, loyalty. And then it tells the story, this fairy tale. I mean, look at that. That's the Two of Cups. And look at this fairy tale. And it goes all the way to here. And then it's got symbols and meanings. And then down here is another little um, write-up. So, yeah, you get that for all the cards. Some stories are longer than others, but you get the fairy tale for every card. This is a beautiful deck, and look how thick this deck is. This is a chunky deck, but you have 78 fairy tales. And here's the back of these cards, and this one is different, but you still do have the little circle in the middle, which is the, the head of the key. So it is a key on the back, very beautiful. This one, is borderless and look how beautiful oh my god I love this is the sorceress which would be the high priestess in traditional tarot the eight of wands the queen of pentacles the nine of swords but this is jack and the beanstalk and the four of wands because I did get this card a couple times. The Fairy Godmother, which is the Empress. The Eight of Cups, but the Mentor, which is the Hierophant and traditional, and it's Puss in Boots. But yeah, pretty cool. 
Um, and I did hear a rumor that she possibly uh, was going to reprint this deck. And, you know, I don't, I, somewhere I heard Kickstarter that she was going to like do Kickstarter, which can you imagine if she does a Kickstarter for her decks? I feel like it will go through the roof. I know I'll be there getting one for sure. But yeah, these cards are absolutely beautiful. I love all the fairy tales. Oh, this is a great one too. This and Animals Divine are just beautiful, beautiful decks. I love the the culture aspect to the Animals Divine and the uh, Fairy Tale Tarot and the stories that go with each card. But yeah, so. I'm just looking at them like they're so beautiful. Oh, I feel so lucky to have have these decks by Lisa Hunt. Okay, so once again, that was the Fairy Tale Tarot by Lisa Hunt. Okay, and this is the last one I have of Lisa Hunt. It's the Fairy Tale Lenormand. The artwork is by Lisa Hunt, and the book is w written by Arwen Lynch. And it comes in this cute little tin. There's the back. And it does come with an extra gentleman and lady, which I just keep in here. And it comes with this cute little guidebook. So cute. And it has the title of the card, what playing card uh, it is, and then keywords, and then the story that is associated with that card. So very cool. And this again is a little Norman deck. So, so you do have the title of what the card is the number of the card, and then the associated uh, playing card number. And I, I love, love, love this artwork, but I mean, I don't usually pull for this Lenormand. I mean, like right now the cards I'm showing you, they look pretty straightforward, but like bear. See, there's like two girls standing in front of the bear, so he's kind of in the background. And I do prefer Lenormand, which I think most people do, where the bear is the bear, the snake is the snake, you know, the mice are the mice, you know. And, like, this is sun, and you have people in there, and you have all these flowers and stuff like that. So, I mean, it is fairy tale Lenormand, so, of course, it's going to have a little more to it, which they're just beautiful. And you can tell it's Lisa's artwork. I love that star card. Look how beautiful. And then the cross. The garden. But, yeah, this is another beautiful deck by Lisa Hunt. Beautiful artwork. But, okay, dog. And this always throws me off. This looks like the ring with the dog, but I think that's supposed to be like a water bowl. I'm not sure. Crossroads. I love this ship. The clover, the mice, the anchor, the lilies. Beautiful tree card. The Gentleman I Chose. Beautiful book. And it says Grimoire on the book. Pretty cool. Rider. Stork. And Mountain. So, yeah. So, oh, and I don't think I showed you the backs. 
very cool, very fairy tale like. But yeah, so that is the fairy tale Lenormand. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my Lisa Hunt decks. And um, I will talk to you all again real soon. Bye bye.